The smartest people in the world have no idea what's going on in China unless you live in China. So if you want to make it in China, you have to live here at least seven years and build a roots and a foundation. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Right, 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 right. And iced tea. Your record as an executive and producer is absolutely impressive. I would like to ask how this happened, how you started your career. My dream was to go to art school, graduate art school, and then go live in the mountains of California, paint, play music, you know, and other fun things. And then I was at a party, I met somebody, uh, Fox was a new network, and I just started blah, blah, blahing, and before you know it, I created the Billboard Music Awards and, you know, right out of school. And now it's <coughs> the 30th year of the show. So it's been, I never thought in 12 million years I'd be doing what I'm doing, ever. Why China, Rick? I didn't look to China, China came to me. So in 2008, I was invited here by CCTV to work on the Olympics. And I'm going like, China, hmm, okay. So, in 2015, I wanted to expand my business, and I moved here. And then I just saw what's happening with all this the technology, you know, with you know holograms and VR and and MR and AI and AR. And I'm going, there's gotta there's something here. So then I opened up the first studio showroom in the world here in Beijing, with all the brand new technology under one roof. How popular is, is the mixed reality here in the Middle Kingdom in China? You know, when I opened the showroom here three years ago, um, <coughs> there was a, just Whoops. boom, just people kept coming. Lauren yeah. will say that. <laughs> Hi, Lauren. You know, you get like 100 people a month coming through the showroom, different prospective clients, and maybe two or three of them are real. But they're very open to it, but it's still learning how to adopt it, adapt it into the projects into a, be it a show or, or an exhibition or, you know, whatever. But they're very open to it, but it takes time. What is one strategy that helped you grow your business here in China? It's just understanding, I think, that you can't come in and go into meetings and go there pounding your chest. You've got to be you know, I used to say like seaweed, you know, yeah, go with the flow, you gotta listen, you gotta absorb, you know, you've gotta respect each other, you know, and, and that's the way I think I've been able to be, get the opportunities that I get here. Okay. How do you engage with partners and develop uh, relationships in China? especially business-wise, I think people are curious, how foreigners do business here in China? In China, contracts are like this are for success. In America, contracts are like this and for failure, okay? So it takes a longer time to get a deal done in China, you know, I find. But then once the deal is done and there's the trust on each side, things go really smooth. But it's getting there. In America, you know, you could close meet somebody today and close a deal tomorrow. And then, you know, whatever happens, happens. But in China, they, you know, it takes time to get it done. But once it get it, you get it done and there's the trust, you know, the doors open up more and more. Since the coronavirus pandemic, COVID-19 started, how was your life um, in China as an expat, especially as an American expat? It's been really tough on my on business, you know, I mean, it's like there's no live events, there's no live productions, there's no Western artists coming here that, you know, so it's really been tough. It's not just tough here, this business, the live business is just everywhere. I mean, Broadway's closed, you know, no, li those are li no live events or concerts, or st you know, in, uh, in the States or shows or anywhere in the world. So. Uh, it's tough. It's really tough. And, you know, I, I don't say I'm American. I say I'm from Canada. <laughs> or I'm Finnish. So I'm from Finland. Those of us that are still working right now in China understand the impact of geopolitics. And things might get worse in the future. Are you concerned at all? 
No, because you know what, I am the psychotic cheerleader. Yeah, I see good in everything, and I look at China and America, or China and the rest of the world as, you know, it's like brothers that fight, argue, and they've got to get along, you know, because they need each other. To me, it's just, I'd stay away from, you know, political things and things that might get me in hot water or under the magnifying glass. You know, and I, I don't want to, you know, because to me, there's so many other opportunities. Will you still be here in five years? Yes. Connected to China or still in China? I'll be here. Okay. Because also, you know, I, I'm going to be, you know, involved in the 20, well, that's, it sounds, before you say 2022 Winter Olympics, that was like so far away, but wow, that's so close. Can you tell us anything from there, like anything that is going to happen? I bet you have a lot of insights. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, the, the opening and closing ceremony will be an opening and closing ceremony, okay? You know, the Olympics was started on music, art, and culture, and then sports. So, there'll be some things happening kind of soon that will include music, art, and culture, keeping the Olympic spirit alive and how the Olympic spirit can bring the world together in a time like this and through music, art, and culture. So stay tuned. If Rick Garson can go back into the past to talk with his younger self, what will he say? You always come up with something like this. Um, my thing is, I always say I don't look back and I don't say I would have, could have, or should have. But um, if I was to, I would just, I wouldn't change anything. Maybe little things, fine tune it here and there, but I'd say great job. Don't ever give up on your dream. Thank you so much for, for doing this. And see you next time. Anything you would like to say to, to our audience before just, shutting this down? Just keep watching. I want to keep, be, she's really good. Thank Stay you, tuned. Thank you, thank and I think we should have our own talk show. Stay yes. tuned. Yes, yes, we should definitely have that. With special guests.